Hi friends, with all my obsession towards hydroponic systems, especially the hydroponics with more pods, here is another hydroponic system called Hydropony. Let's see how it looks like, what are all the accessories it came with and how it is compared to the other hydroponic systems. Here it is. It looks clean and compact. First thing is the grow deck. It is a single piece and supports 12 pods. It has the water indicator in one corner and the opening to pour water in the other corner. Like many hydroponic systems, it has a bunch of holes which I don't like. So I am going to close them using some duct tape. Then the user manual, power adapter, water pump and a quick guide. Then the plant nutrition. This is a two pot dry nutrition. We need to fill these bottles with water, dissolve the nutrients and use it as needed. The recommendation is to use 5 ml of each nutrition for every 1 liter of water. This nutrition is often expensive. So I prefer to use other nutrients like Maxi Grow that are very economical. Then there is a cap that goes on the opening on grow deck. Then the pod baskets. These are very similar to Aero Garden pod baskets. I will show the compatibility in a minute. I like these standard pod baskets and sponges. We can find lots of cheap and best sponges from many third parties. Then some plant ties and some plant tags. Then the domes that goes on the pods. These domes will retain the moisture and help with germination process. Then some support sticks that we can stick onto the grow deck. Practically I never used the support sticks or the plant tags because I know what I am growing and I always grow only short plants in these systems. Anyways, it is good to have these handy in case we need to use them in the future. The last accessory in this list is this little cover that goes on the grow deck. Basically, this little red stick go up and down based on the water level and we can see it through this glass dome. Then the bowl which is an interesting thing in this system. This is what made me very excited about this system. This bowl is made up of high quality 304 stainless steel which is anti-rust and anti-corrosion. All the hydroponic systems I have so far are made up of plastic. Of course, they all used high quality food grade plastic, but plastic is plastic. So this stainless steel bowl is very interesting feature in this system. It has a black coating on the bowl and if you wonder what it is, I had the same question and posted it. And here is the answer from the seller. The black coating on the stainless steel of this machine is created through a complex piano baking varnish process which is much safer than ABS plastics. This is pretty convincing and I am comfortable with this answer. Now coming to the light panel, it is connected to the bowl using nut and bolt. I will remove this to see if the light can be detached. Alright, I removed the bolt. I am pulling it out. Oh no, it is not what I expected. There is a cable and the cable is connected to the circuit inside this tube. So I cannot detach it. That's a bummer. I am putting it back. I can go deep and try to detach it, but that is not practical at all. Since we cannot detach the bowl from the light, the cleaning is going to be very challenging. It is very important that the bowl should be detachable for easy cleaning and it should be detachable quick and easy. Now I have to be very careful as I clean and rinse the bowl and I need to make sure that I don't spill the water onto the light panel. It is not only about spilling the water. It also make very inconvenient to move the bowl under running water in my sink. So this is pretty bad design. I just noticed another small design issue. 
This pump connector is not going inside completely. I was thinking that it is not connected well and I kept on pushing it hard. But I finally realized that it is a design issue and it is in fact connected already. Now that I learned this design, this is not a big deal at all. Now coming to the pump, it comes with three small suction cups. We can place it anywhere in the bowl and it sticks very well. It doesn't matter where we place the pump as long as it is not in the corners and not very close to the sides. We want the water to be circulated as much as possible. Now coming back to the pods, let's start with compatibility. This is AeroGarden pod and it is 100% compatible. And it is very stable. It doesn't move or wiggle at all. Many hydroponic systems like I do, Hortus, Ahope Garden, etc. comes with pods that are loose, wiggle and the plants fall on one side. But this grow deck and pods are well designed. Now let's check the pods that came with this system. These pods are slightly loose, but they are still way better compared to many other hydroponic systems. However, AeroGarden pods are perfectly compatible and fitting much better compared to the original pods, which is little funny coincidence. One thing that is worth mentioning at this point is, it doesn't come with pod stickers. Pod stickers are very useful to block the light going onto the sponge. If the light goes onto the sponge, which is always wet with nutrition water, it develops algae. So I cover the pods with aluminum foil or some tape. I have a few videos on sticker alternatives. Please check them if you are interested. I also have some cheap third party stickers, which are not perfect, but I can manage. So I make my own sticker or use some third party stickers. Sometimes if I am growing super short crops like radish, fenugreek, etc. I manage it without the stickers. Delaying the nutrition until the seedlings are developed is the key here. Coming to the settings, it comes with three buttons. One is power and two are the grow modes. One for veggies and the other one for fruits and flowers. This is little confusing and I never really saw any difference between these modes, but here is what I follow. For all the herbs, lettuce and leafy green vegetables, I use grow mode. If I grow tomatoes or peppers, I will start with grow mode and switch to flower mode once I see the flowering. By the way, the bowl capacity in the system is 6 liters, which is pretty decent for any 12 pod hydroponic system. Now let's take a look at very interesting feature, which is how low and how high we can adjust the lights. Starting with the minimum height adjustment, I can push it as low as one and a half inch, but that's not exactly true because this little water indicator comes in between. So considering this water indicator in between, the lowest we can go is two inches. From here, we can extend it up to 13 and a half inches. I wish it can go little higher like 18 inches, but it's okay. We can manage many plants under 13 inches. AeroGarden Harvest model supports up to 11 inches only and I have grown so many things in it. Coming to the technical specifications, it comes with 24 voltage full spectrum LED lights. The lights are 16 hours on and 8 hours off in grow mode and 12 hours on and 12 hours off in flower and fruit mode. Coming to the pump, the pump works in a 30 minute on and 30 minute off cycle, which is good enough to circulate the water. Now let's get into some fun. I will connect the system and check how pump works. Let's also check if it detects the water level. All right, I connected the system and turned it on. No water in the bowl, the pump is running, but no beep. So it doesn't have any automated water indicator. We have to manually monitor the water level and fill the bowl. Now I am adding water. I added one liter of water, but it is not enough for the pump to catch the water. Adding one more liter. 
Now this bowl has 2 liters of water. The pump is working so hard to pump the water. And it is finally pumping the water successfully. And this pump looks powerful enough to circulate the water very well. I see the bubbles are going all around. Alright, that's pretty much about the system, functionality, settings and all the accessories. It comes with everything except seeds. Overall, this system looks good. I really like the 6 litre stainless steel water tank, up to 13 inches height adjustment, 24 voltage lights, support for 12 pods and the quiet yet powerful pump. Non-detachable light panel is pretty disappointing but apart from that I don't see any other major issues. Anyways, design is not everything. I really care about the performance, practical usage of the system, the results it produces and the durability. So I will put this system for testing, experiment with various plans and keep you updated with all the results. So please stay tuned. For the first experiment, I will grow hailstone radishes. If everything goes well, I should be able to harvest radishes in 30 days. Let's see. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.